This is Dunkeld in Scotland. I'm just about to do a circular walk from Dunkeld. It'll follow the banks of the River Tay upstream before returning down the opposite side. It takes in magnificent ruined cathedral as well as some remarkable trees including the Mother Larch and Neil Gow's Oak. This is a car park at the north end of Dunkeld where there are toilets and just over in the top right corner is the start of the path and the one I'm going to follow today is the Fiddler's Path This is in the grounds of Dunkeld Cathedral which you pass by on the path This tree is called the Mother Larch, apparently one of the first larch trees brought into the country just beside the cathedral and the sign up there pointing to the Fiddlers and Bishop's Path straight, straight on We're back down to the River Tea again, this is a little side path going down to the left which takes you along the banks of the river and looking back along to the bridge into Dunkeld from Burnham As you come along the path here on the right there's a little stone grotto with a domed ceiling on the inside right in the side of the path Still continuing along the banks of the River Tay, and this is where the two paths join the one on the right, where we were on the lower one on the left hand fork. This sign tells us all about the popular hedging plant, the Lawson Cypress, and you can see it can get pretty tall. This is the Dunkeld House Hotel where you can stop on your way and have a half, an afternoon tea or a light lunch. And look at, looking back along the path towards Dunkeld, you can see a perfect example of the autumn colours coming in now. Just past the hotel, there's a little fork down to the left and you come across this stone-built shelter. Inside it's another domed building, the sun shining in from the water. Yeah, an environmentally friendly roof too. Heck of a job getting the lawnmower up there. This part's called uh, the rock pool, and because we came along the fisherman's track, we've got to go up here this way to rejoin the main cycle path. Well, further along is the ivy tree pool. Since we joined the cycle track again, it's, it's about a mile along a very well tarred road back on the edge of the river here and just about to approach the, the dual carriageway, the A9 north and south which will go over that bridge and then down again on the other side Since coming underneath the road bridge we walked up this road here and there's a sign here pointing right to the Fiddler's Path up this way, towards the main road. We'll now come up and reach the A9 and you go across on this right hand side there's a, a good pavement path over the bridge. Once we reach the other side there's a, there's a road off to the right where we'll continue along for a little bit and then a path downwards. We're now just opposite Douglas Fir Wood and the path down towards Dunkeld is here, Fiddler's Path. We'll now rejoin the path underneath the road 
and continuing along towards Dunkeld. We're now continuing to walk along the down river side and up this hill. Well that was an easy hill. Didn't even get out of breath. Coming down now to see the Dunkeld House Hotel on the other side there. This is the tree under which the famous Scottish fiddler Neil Gow supposedly wrote most of his tunes. In order to get over the River Bran, the path makes a right hand turn and goes underneath the A9 here. And this sign points across the footbridge going over the, the river. Now come back onto the, the road which leads into Dunkeld, over the bridge and back to the car park. 